Check a check, 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 check. Good morning guys, it is day five of the slam. Now, I'm, as you know, doing this active recovery stage for a couple of days. I'm just jumping on the bike before I even think of weights. I've got a plan, I think tomorrow is a body weight workout. So once again, we'll get back into a bit more light and then coming back on Monday, we're back into those three days of weights. So, um, so far, yeah, recovery recovery is going okay. My arms are getting better, but I'm still still quite sore. It was really surprising me, um, and I guess it shouldn't be a surprise because I really haven't haven't worked out for a long time. So, um, one thing I did want to talk to you about before I before I um, get on this bike is basically how do you get to the stage where no matter what roadblock comes up, and there will be roadblocks, you've got to find a way to overcome it, right? And this is a real critical topic because um, when you're doing a challenge, it's called a challenge for a reason. It's not an easy. If it was an easy, everybody would do it. But a challenge is something that you're pushing yourself, you're really testing yourself, and by that, you're testing your body and your mind together. Now my mind could be throwing up yesterday on day two or three, uh, on day three, it could have been throwing up, hey Peter, you've done better than anybody else you know, it's okay, you can quit, right? And this is what your mind does, it throws up these kind of, hey, just get off the bus here, it's time to quit, you're, you're fine, you've done a good job, congratulations, pat on the back, time to quit. And Part of that is how do you push through this, this, uh, this trial of your mind? And that's all it is. It's really, uh, you know, there's a catalyst of something. So the catalyst for me was my body is starting to get tired, really tired and sore. So how do I push through this? Now, I'm gonna give you a, uh, a few techniques that I'm using right now just to push through because I know when you get challenged, you've got to come up with a mental willpower to be able to do this. So I'm going to start off with my technique number one, right? The first technique is the camera setup, right? Huh? What do you mean, Peter? Well, because I'm putting this online and I'm putting it online as I'm doing it, this promotes accountability. Basically, I can't fail unless, and if I do, I fail in front of the world. Wow. So I'm using the camera um, and the footage on YouTube as a motivation to keep going, to keep pushing. And that's, that's huge. Because psychologically, you're like, well, I don't want my friends and family to see me fail. Right? Point number two, I'm also using my family internally as a motivation. Right? I keep telling myself that if I quit now, I let down my whole family. I promised my wife I was gonna remake my life. I promised my kids I was going to make my life better and be a better dad for them, right? My friends, you can even bring your friends into this. You promise them that, hey, I'm going to do this challenge to be better. Now, internally, when things are getting tough, you're now bringing these things up and you're saying, you can't fail now, you can't quit, because Peter, you promised your family, your kids, your parents, your friends, that you were going to improve yourself in these 30 days, right? So I'm using these psychological games to push through, to keep going. If that makes sense to you guys, right? So that's kind of the two main ones. The third is when I started this, when I even started the idea, I promised myself that I would do this. Right? It's not really about anybody else. This challenge is really about me. It's about improving myself. Now, I keep hammering my mind when my mind says to me, Peter, ready to quit? I'm like, no, you're lying to yourself the moment you quit. Right? And that's it, I keep this belief that I've just lied to myself. If I slow down, if I stop my momentum. Now, with, with this challenge, there is gonna be setbacks. 
Now let's quickly talk about how do you handle a setback, right? So for example, let's say you're, you're, you're doing a uh, no alcohol fast 30 days and you slip up and it's easy to slip up with um, a work function, for example, and there's always wine or beer or something there and you have a glass of wine or beer. Now, the best thing you can do is not fall off the bandwagon, right? Some people, when they make a mistake, then they feel like it's permission, the pity party has started, I'm gonna just chow down on everything, I'm gonna get into extra wine, I'm gonna get into extra alcohol, and then they just, they just revert completely, right? In your mind, you need to start to fight that. You basically say, okay, I've made a mistake, right? Stop. And then you just continue. You continue that fast or that break as though nothing happened. And yeah, you have a setback, but if you have a setback and then you tumble off a cliff, it's a disaster. If you have a setback and you hold on and you pull yourself back up and you can get back on the right track, that's where you want to be, right? Because the topic is, we want to be better in 30 days. If you stop um, and just overreact. So for example, let's say you're, you're, you're dieting and you, you have a chocolate bar, you have a moment of weakness, maybe you, you've been uh, ridiculed by someone or something's happened and emotionally you've reached for a chocolate bar, you've had some chocolate. Um, the worst thing you can do is let your mind take over and then you go home and order pizza and then you you know drink some Coca-Cola and then you go you basically you basically have this pity party and you, you binge. And and what you want to do is just get out of control. Okay, I've had my chocolate bar, I've got it now, we're not going down this road, we've fallen off slightly, but I'm gonna climb back. Right? I've gone so well so far, setbacks happen, this is a small setback, and we're gonna keep on the road. Because we're trying to look at the long term, not the short term here. And if we fall off and have a small failure, you can still keep walking in the right direction, still keep going in the right direction. But if you fall off and then you compound that, that's gonna destroy your whole challenge. So I just wanted to bring up these couple of topics, the topic of how do you stay um, dedicated and driven when there's challenges in front of you, and the other topic of what do you do if you have a setback, right? Critical things. I'm gonna jump on a bike, I'm gonna time lapse it, but not so long, you know what I'm doing. I'm gonna push out about 20, 30 minutes, probably about eight to 10 kilometers. Um, easy ride, not heavy ride, I'm still in active recovery, and um, we'll see you guys later.